My name is Zachary Taylor, and I am honored to have been elected as the President of the United States in 1848. My term began on March 4, 1849, and I am aware of the challenges that lie ahead for our nation. I was born in Virginia in 1784, but I spent most of my life as a soldier, serving with distinction in the United States Army for over 40 years. I was often called Old Rough and Ready because of my reputation for tenacity on the battlefield. As president, I faced several serious issues, including the question of slavery in the newly acquired territories after the Mexican-American War. Although I myself owned slaves, I took an ambiguous stance on this issue, calling for a peaceful and constitutional solution. Another major concern during my presidency was the growing tensions between the northern and southern states regarding states' rights and federal authority. Despite my efforts to maintain national unity, these tensions continued to escalate, foreshadowing the troubles to come. Internationally, I also had to contend with challenges including tensions with Mexico and territorial disputes with the United Kingdom over Oregon. My foreign policy was focused on defending American interests and maintaining peace. Unfortunately, my presidential term was abruptly cut short. In July 1850, after attending a ceremony at the Washington Monument, I fell ill and died a few days later from an unidentified illness. My death was a great loss for the nation, and my vice president, Millard Fillmore, took over to complete my term. Though my time as president was brief, I hope to be remembered as a man who served his country with honor and dedication, both on the battlefield and in the Oval Office.